Hello everyone, today we're going to be taking a look at starting with our active storage image uploads. This is going to be done on our Re uh, React frontend with a Rails backend. So the React is acting as a separate API that's making requests to a Rails server. In this case, uh, the server is just also running on the same box, so it's just two different windows and the React app is inside of the Rails application folder. Uh, but you know, all of this stuff, you can kind of just move around how you need to, cause it's all just being done with like an IP address basically. But this is gonna allow us to have like a post list with a bunch of images. And then we can create a new post where we say like test in case, choose a file, we'll choose the quirky little Minecraft image that we usually use, create a post. And then we can come in here and we can say, all right, uh, I want to refresh. That'll also work. I can come in here and edit. Uh, if I don't choose an image, it'll persist. Uh, even though it says no file chosen, the actual image that's attached is still there. Uh, that'll be something we can change in the future. And then we can take this and we can change it to like a fizzbuzz uh, thing. Uh, and then we can have that picture instead. So that's basically what we're working towards here. Now this is gonna be a couple part video because there's a couple things we have to do to make this work. Uh, but in this first one, we're mostly just focused on adding active storage images to our posts. So let's go ahead and let's get started. I'll CD out of the client here and go into the video slash client. Uh, and then in this one, I'll just change from the Rails server to the videos Rails server. Run a Rails S. And you can see here I'm on branch 37, just like this issue. Uh, but actually I need to do a code dot to open this up in VS Code, which I totally forgot to do. Uh, so there we go. We'll go ahead, we'll move this over. We have a post form, I can close that. Okay, so to add the images, we want to start with a Rails active underscore storage colon install. This command does not need the G in front of it for generating it for reasons that honestly, I don't think anyone can answer at this point. Uh, and then we already have this table in my database, which is unfortunate, but if you just run a DB migrate, hopefully you'll believe me that this gets added in okay. So now that we have that, I'm actually going to come into the DB here. Uh, hopefully this is fine. Yep. And we can say, all right, we need to add to our app models a post.rb. And then in here, we want to do a has one attached image. Now, if you're interested in doing more than one attached image, like maybe you want to be able to upload multiple, I have covered this before with a, re, uh, sorry, a Rails active storage right here, uh, upload multiple images to active storage API video. Let me mute this. In this video, we do uh, you know, have multiple that we cycle through and you can choose which one you want to display. So this will pretty much cover everything else you need there. In this case, we're only going with one. So we're gonna use has one attached instead of has many attached. And then in our controller, API v1 post controller at the bottom here, we're just gonna be adding in a image parameter. This is going to allow us to do our uploads, but it's a little bit weird with how this works. If we run a Rails S and go over to API v1 slash posts and click run pending migrations, which we can't do. So I'm going to do a DB colon reset and then a Rails DB colon migrate and then a Rails S. Uh, if we come in here now, uh, we'll see we first of all don't have any posts. So let's come into our V app real quick and run a NPM run dev and come over to the root of our application. We won't have anything in here now, but we can create a new post with a test and a case, click create post. And now if we come over here and we refresh, you'll see that by default, Rails is gonna give us an ID, a title, a body, a created at, and an updated at, just like it normally would. It's not actually going to be including these uh, image post URLs in these posts uh, out of the box. So we're gonna have to handle this somehow. The way we're going to do this is we're going to say, uh, here's our at posts. And then from our at posts, we're going to include these image URLs. Now there's probably a myriad of ways to do this. Uh, this is just the one that my peanut sized brain came up with today. Cause I only have a couple hours to record these each week right now. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say there's our posts with images, which are going to be equal to a at post map do post. Uh, there might also be a way to do something where you say like post dot includes the uh, image attachment and then you can do a dot order and then you can grab it that way. But here I'm just going to be using it uh, in the post map way, which is probably not the most efficient, but we can always visit this again in another video. We then do a check for each of these posts that we're iterating through and we say, is the image attached? If the image is attached, because it might not be, we can then do a post.json.merge where we 
set a image URL to be the URL for the post.image, which is going to give us whatever the active storage URL is to, to actually display this image inside of a uh, image tag, right? And then if we don't have that, it's going to be the same logic, but instead we're just going to have nil right here because we don't have a URL. And then we can render our uh, posts with images instead of the at posts. So that's going to handle our index. Now for our show method, it's going to be pretty similar. We're going to render our posts, but instead of doing it this way, we're going to say if at post.image.attached, else, and so if the image is attached, then we want to render the at post, but we actually want to do a dot as json dot merge the image, uh, not the image image, the image URL for a URL for the at post.image, just like that. And then otherwise it's going to be the same thing. Let me make sure I spell image correctly. Uh, it's going to be the same thing over here, but instead it's going to be nil for this one. So now if we do this, we can come over to our rails API and refresh and we'll see we have a null here which means we can actually do a check on the front end to see if this is null or not. Now, what we wanna do is in our front end, give ourselves the ability to upload one of these. So over here, we can come into our, uh, our client. We can come into our SRC, our features, I wanna say in our post form. And then we just wanna copy this title component right here and we want to paste in a image once. So we'll say this is for the image. The HTML4 will be for the image, which will be the ID of our input here with a type of, I think it's image, or sorry, it's type of file. And then it accepts a image slash asterisk. Uh, and then I think that's good, right? For our accept, it actually needs to be accept. Uh, and then up top, we also want to say this has a image, is it an image or an image URL? I can never remember. It has a image of this. Uh, and then we can come in here and we can say down here, our image is right here. I'm getting really tired of saying the word image. We don't need a value for this. And then we can just set this to be e.target.files with the zeroth element in the array. And then for bonus points, we can console log this e.target.files zero if we wanna see this in the terminal. Um, so that should work there. But that does mean we want to wrap all of this inside of some braces for our arrow function like that. There we go. And now we can log that out. So now if we come over to our V app, we can go to a create new post page and you can see here we have the image uh, form field. So let's do a test and a case. We can choose a file. We can come in here uh, after this pops up. We can click on this. They'll change it. Now this is where we're going to get some quirky behavior. We can click create post. You'll see here it inserts into posts and does all of that. If we come over to our API, we'll now have a second post, but the image is uh, still going to be null. Now this also says image image. So let's come into our post post controller uh, and find the image image and change this for a image URL. I don't know why GitHub Copilot is insisting on doing this to me. Uh, there we go. So we should now have a image URL, which looks a lot better. So there's a couple reasons why this isn't working out of the box the way we would expect it to. The reason why we uh, run into this behavior is because uh, although our post form here is set up to now deal with this, uh, which means that in our new post form page and our post edit page, we kind of don't have to do anything, presumably. Um, we actually have to change a couple things because we need to refactor this to use a uh, form data instead of how we're passing it in right now. So if we come over to like our new post form component, uh, we should be able to see that we we kind of just pass in the raw form data, which is a bit deceptive. This is actually just like raw data and not actually form data uh, because in our post form right here, uh, you can see we set this to be something called form data, but it's not actually a form data object. So we're going to have to do some like manipulation of this to get it to work. But what we can do right now is we can come into like our new post form. We have the handle create submit, which is our submit that we're passing in. We can just take this and we can say, uh, let's create the form data, right? Form data object. And then in here, we can do a new form data. We can append the title, we can append the body, and we can append the image. And then we can take this and pass this into our create post. And now if we come in here and we create a new post, we can say test and case, we can choose a file. 
we can then say, uh, after we do this, we can click on the Minecraft one. Let's hit enter in our terminal, click create post. You can see here the parameter is missing for our post. What we actually want to do here is we want to say this form data uh, can't just be the raw fields. Oops, fields needs to be wrapped in a post field name, right? So we come in here, we got to get rid of these quotes and then hopefully GitHub Copilot can clean this up for me so I don't have to do this manually. This will then give us our form data, which we can then pass in to create post, and then we can give this a try. So if we refresh and say test and case, we can choose a file. And then uh, if this ever decides to open, we can click on the Minecraft image, click on create post. And you can see we're still running into this parameters missing. So now what we wanna do, <laughs> I feel like I keep saying that, but trust me, we're almost there. We wanna come into our post service and inside of our create post service, we want to refactor this a little bit uh, because now what we want to do is not pass in all of this, this stuff. We can still do our await fetch, but uh, what we want to do is we want to say this has a method of post. It doesn't need the headers, doesn't need headers because it's a form data. And then we don't need to JSON stringify the body. We just need to pass in the post data. We can take this, we can refresh, we can come over here, we can do a test and a case and we can choose a file. And then we can say uh, this chosen file will be the Minecraft image. For the last time, we can click on create post, we can scroll up and here we can see the yellow text, which tells us this is actually working. So now if we come in here and we refresh, we can see our image URL, we can, I think, control click on this to open it in a new tab and we can see that the picture went through, which means this is at least working. It's at least persisting it. So in the next video, we're going to take this, we're going to refactor some of what we've done here, and we're hopefully going to get this, uh, you know, showing on the page at some point in the future here. Uh, but for now, that's going to do it for this one. So let's just go ahead and stop the server, do a get status. We can see all of the things we changed here. Uh, now, full disclosure, if we run a NPM run test right now, this will probably be upset with us, but we'll have to fix this in a future video because I don't have time right now. I have to go take down a pool. Um, but, uh, Really, the only thing you have to do is add the image to our form here in the calls on submit. So maybe we can just do this real quick, uh, just so that I don't have to, you know, feed you with excuses. So let's come into our post form test, search for this test. We just want to come down here to the title and the body, and we also want to uh, just include a image of null. So we don't actually need to have an image here. We're just testing if this will actually, you know, call on submit when the form is submitted. We can go ahead and test this, and now we can see uh, that the uh, image is a expected of null, and it's an actual of an empty string. So we could even just take this and change this to an empty string, run another npm run test, and then hopefully this will spin through this real quick, and now we can see all of these are passing. So now you don't have to yell at me for uh, pushing up failing tests. We can do db colon, or not db colon, we can do a git add dot, get commit dash m add active storage image attachments do a git push push this up come over to our github repo go over to code we'll hopefully see this uh, push to the branch compare and pull request do our create pull request we can then come down here to the merge pull request whenever this finishes because we don't have any ci cd yet and then we're good to go